This is Jin Bo. He was 34 years old. He had a happy family, a smart and a beautiful wife, and a pair of cute daughters. He was a talented sub-editor who had a promising future. We could imagine that what a happy life he would enjoy. In June 29, 2016, when he finished his work and went back home at Euro, he fallen down at the platform of subway in Beijing and could never stand up again. Unfortunately, he was suddenly died. You may think that his death is an accident. Well, he's not the only case. According to the survey from hospital, there are 1.5, uh, 1.8 million people died of sudden death every year in China. Okay, let me put it another way. That is, there are three to four people died of sudden death every minute in China. My dear audience, what do you think when you hear this horrified statistics? How you ever think that they may be our friends or family members or even ourselves? Okay, there's another data from World Health Organization. About 70% people are in sub-health. That is, about 70% people are in the danger of sudden death. I can't help asking why. With the rapid changing of technology and improvement of living condition, why we should, we should have enjoyed a healthier and a longer life but why there still exists high percentage of sudden deaths and subhealth. I think if I give you enough time, you can list a pair of reasons leading to sudden deaths. But we can't deny that. Here, the ignorance or lack of habitual exercise is one of the main causes. Here, I want to show you a picture. This is Wang Dexuan. Everyone from his picture, can you guess how old is he? Actually, he's 79 years old. Can you believe it? When I mention 79 years old, what kind of image come into your mind? Is that similar with Wang Dexuan's figure or not? Okay, you may wonder what is his secret of keeping younger looking and being healthy. Okay, he must tell you that having healthy lifestyle, that is keeping exercise. My dear friends, what is your choice? Keeping exercise or not? What do you want to look like when you were old? I think you already got your answer in your mind, right? We all know that early childhood is the golden time for nurturing a good habit so that we can keep it lifelong. So for having a healthy lifestyle, we should start not only start right now, but also start it in early childhood. And as early as Aristotle, Aristotle's time, he believes that uh, physical education is also one important part of education. He thinks that the fulfilled person is an educated person. He played a strong emphasis on all round and balanced development. Physical training, play, music, debate, and the, philo uh, the study of science and philosophy will all have their place in forming of body mind and soul. Besides, Chinese government established all-round policy, all-round uh, all development in uh, physical, intelligence, aesthetics, and moral as an education policy in 1982. Of course, nowadays, the schools already include PE class into curriculum but it seems PE class is not so effective to, to nurturing the good habit of keeping exercise, which is not so positive for having a healthy lifestyle. 
Here, I have some suggestions for, for our school for the uh, physical education, especially for elementary school. The first one, school should respect children's physical development. As Aristotle thought, we should, re uh, we should teach something that is, um, that is some simple uh, gymnastics and uh, martial arts, which is suitable for children's development instead of harsh training. Second, school should arouse children's interest in health and fitness. That is, that is, we can design some activities. We can design some activities uh, for them, like the activities we had when we were young, like uh, kicking, uh, kicking, uh, kicking the uh, shuttle coke, or playing uh, hopscotch or jumping rope, and also we should provide more choices or class uh, activities for the students and also give them some differentiated strategies or instructions. The third one is that we should encourage outdoor activity with, uh, with nature. Now, instead of keeping indoor or staying on playground. Fourth, uh, school should organize some nutrition or fitness clubs, which is good for students, which can help them clarify what is good for their health. I hope by doing so, Jinbo's tragedy could never happen again. Thank you. <laughs>